Hello and happy new year! Welcome to our first Instagram Live of 2023. I'm very excited to see you joining us, whether live or watching the recording. Today, I will share tips to help you start fresh in the new year with mindful productivity. But before we start, let us know where you are watching from. And while we wait for more people to join us, I will introduce myself. My name is Sabrina Cadini. I'm a holistic precision life coach helping busy professionals live and work better by prioritizing themselves with customized lifestyle changes. And I'm director of coaching here at MANA, helping our users take control of the most valuable resource we have in the world, which is time, and spend it better. Are you a MANA user yet? If not, we would love for you to try it. Our time tracking app uses machine learning technology to predict future behavior and integrations with a variety of applications to drive peak performance in individuals, teams, and companies. MANA allows you to automatically track how you spend all of your time, create goals, see the progress, and stay motivated along the way together with one-on-one -on -one coaching. The app also encourages self-awareness with reflection and journaling so that you can learn how to maximize your performance and most of all, avoid burnout. If you'd like to check it out, you can just go to mana.ai forward slash download and you'll find the link in our bio to install it on your computer and on your phone. And then you can schedule a session with our coaches to learn more about our tools and features. There is a lot in the app. I will also show you a quick tutorial in the app in a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right, so let's dive into our topic for today's broadcast. We all know that being productive is the best way to do more things and reduce stress in life, right? I'm sure you agree with me. But do you know how to be productive and stay productive? throughout the day? Do you think you have to work faster, work more hours, or work on multiple tasks at once? Well, none of that is necessarily true. Actually, you can work at a slower pace, fewer hours, and on one thing at a time to achieve better results, to gain more energy and more focus. And the secret is mindfulness. When you are aware of how you spend your time, you are more present. When you listen to your body, you're more aware of your energy levels. When you are consciously less reactive to all the distractions and stimuli around you, you choose what to prioritize. You choose what to do. And you choose your thoughts so that you can make better decisions and accomplish your to-dos. So today I will share some tips to help you achieve mindful productivity. Tip number one is be aware of how you spend your time. You know, our overactive brain tends to get stuck in doing mode, not only for the things we do in the moment, but also for what's around us and for what needs our attention in the future. I will have to do this, I have to go there, I have to finish that, right? It's constantly thinking about the things that need to be done. And this can generate pressure and stress because we tend to lose control of the time we have available while we are engaged in multiple to-dos. However, as I always say, we're human beings, not human doings. And when you switch to the being mode, you can become more mindful and better focused on the present moment, on what you're doing, on how you are doing it, and why you are doing it, so that your brain has full energy and attention to work on that particular task seamlessly and well. So make sure you have enough time for what you plan to do every single day, week, or month. You can ask yourself something like, how difficult or easy is this task that I'm going to work on? If it's too difficult, is there a way for me to break it down and make it more manageable so that I can work on it for 
one hour today and give it all my attention and obtain the results I expect. Tip number two, be strategic with your schedule. Once you know how you spend your time, you want to schedule everything you do in your calendar to manage and optimize your time. Time boxing or a zero-based calendar is excellent for this purpose. And if you have never tried it, we can create a video for you. Let us know in the comments. When you plan for the week, ask yourself the following. What can I do first thing in the morning to maintain a positive and growth mindset that can set the tone for the entire day? What should I work on this week that brings me closer to my goals? How many hours should I dedicate to a specific project or to deep work? Try to be realistic here and don't fill your calendar with too many to-dos. That's not mindful. You won't accomplish all of them. You will get frustrated and this will slow down your productivity flow. Also ask yourself, how can I take care of myself during the day? And then what should I do before bedtime to sleep better? manage my stress and prepare myself for the next day. That way you are in control of all of your decisions, your actions, and you will function better. And then at the end of the week, go over everything that you have done and take a look at what you accomplished if you obtained the results you were expecting. Or maybe you need to change some habits, move some work hours around to match your energy levels. Or maybe you have to prioritize your to-dos better. It's all about being aware of and intentional about how you perform so that you can maintain high levels of productivity mindfully and consistently. And you know, one great way to analyze how you spend your time and make changes where needed is with Mana's reflection tool. And I will show you how to use it in the app in a few minutes. Tip number three is avoid procrastination. This is obviously, right, a good tip. And I think this is the biggest enemy for my clients. And maybe for you too, because it forces them to catch up after hours when they would like to spend precious and quality time with family. And procrastination is a huge source of dissatisfaction and stress for them. Now, don't get me wrong, life happens and sometimes things get in the way and you can't always finish your work in time. But when you keep postponing your to-dos deliberately, maybe missing deadlines every day, that's when it negatively impacts the quality of your work and of your life. So again, be mindful and listen to your body. Is that thing too difficult? Does it require too much energy? Do you feel too fatigued? Maybe you have to rearrange your schedule and work on your to-dos at different times of the day in order to accomplish them. So once you understand why you are procrastinating, you can find the right solution and act accordingly. So since we're talking about mindful productivity, I think our reflection tool in MANA is fantastic to see how you spend your time. When you track your time in the app, even after a week, you gather amazing data that can give you excellent insights about your productivity and change habits or your schedule as needed. So I will switch my camera for a quick tutorial and show you how. So here I'm showing you the reflection tab of the app. And as you can see, all of my time is categorized under health, work, and then I have my work hours for mana, my growth, my fun hours. And when I click on each category, this shows me different activities that I worked on, or better yet, that I tracked in the app. See, I have a gazillion of elements or activities, as we call them all again categorized. This is my health uh, bucket. And as you can see, there's the element and then how much time I spend for each one every week. Now the app also gives you different options. You can see the time you spend by week, by day, by month, by quarter, by year. And when you go to the year view, 
that I can guarantee you can be a very eye-opening activity. For instance, I spent, in 2022, I spent 182 hours getting ready in the morning for my day. I spent 54 and a little more, like 15 minutes, uh, 54 hours and 15 minutes for my nails, beauty lab, you know? Uh, I spent 122 hours getting ready for bed in the evening. Isn't this amazing? Would you be ever be able to quantify your time if you didn't track it? Maybe not, because this is usually time that you don't think about, but it's still part of your 24 hours. It's still part of your day. And then the eating category is what I did related to that activity. My breakfast, my lunch, dinner with my son and his wife. Again, a lot of different things. And then my work, this is my coaching practice. These are all the hours that I spent for my client. And uh, coaching, for instance, I spent uh, about 318 hours coaching my clients with full coaching sessions. And then the laser coaching sessions, they were 81 hours. You know, it is amazing. And then if you want to reflect on that, uh, this is something that you can do at the end of the week. So at the end of the week, you take a look at the numbers and see where you have to make changes. And if everything looks great, fine, awesome, you're doing amazing. If something needs to change, you decide what you want to do with that, the time that you spend, and you make changes accordingly on your schedule. Also, there is an ability to reflect in the app, which I think is one of the best tools available. For instance, last week I spent 30 minutes with my personal coach. You know, coaches have coaches as well, right? We need guidance as well. And so it, this was an amazing session and it gave me a great perspective about something that I felt stuck with. So if I want to share something, I just click on the number and here the app opens to a new uh, page where you can decide how it was so here I will select a very happy emoji and then you can write some notes for yourself. And once you write the note, it will remain <clears throat> in the history. See journal entries. So you can see if there are any trends or patterns that you want to take a look at. And again, those might help you change your habits. It also gives you uh, an average of the time that you spend. See, I didn't have any session on December 11th because I was busy at the time, so I had to postpone it. But I was pretty consistent with my sessions every single week, and that makes me very happy because it keeps me motivated. So again, I think the reflection tool in the app is very useful because it gives you a lot of information about what you're doing, about your habits, about your schedule, because again, all of your work hours can be tracked in the app as well. And then at the end of the week, you can reflect and ask yourself, did I spend my time wisely? Did anything need to change, right? And so you can make changes accordingly. So let me know if you have any questions regarding the topic for today or about our app. Mana, I am here to help and I'll wait for a few seconds while you type your questions in the comment box below. In the meantime, make sure that you follow us at Mana Hours here on Instagram. We are also on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and we have a channel on YouTube. So make sure you watch our previous recordings here or on YouTube to, to learn more about our tools and to learn more about different tips that I, we shared in two years, yeah, in about two years of our presence here on social media. And of course, if you want to try the app, go to mana.ai forward slash download. You can also find the link in our bio to install it on your computer and on your phone. And then you can schedule an onboarding session with our coaches to learn more about our tools and to take full advantage of the app. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year again. I really hope you will have a very productive 2023 and we'll see you in a few weeks with another live broadcast. See you soon.